Hello friends, uh, most welcome to this video class. Friends, in this video class, I'm going to conduct a mock test for SSC CGL exam 2020. And in this particular mock test, I have taken 20 most expected English question. So if you watch it till the very end, you will definitely find it very, very useful. So this mock test, uh, 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 I'm going to conduct in English language. And if you want to watch the Hindi version of the same video, you can definitely watch it on the same channel called English Advantage YouTube channel. So this is question number one and this question is related to idiom section of uh, English accent. Be on one's knee. What does it mean? When you are on your knees, you are, you are in a position of praying. Okay. So the correct answer is in a position of supplication or praying. Okay. Now this is question number second and this question is related to PQRS section. An engineer building a bridge. Now this is a complete subject. Now here you need a verb and that too a singular verb because the verb is related with this singular subject that is engineer. So here your first part will be picks. An engineer building a bridge picks the best plan and not the one. So this is logically connected. So your sequence will be Q, R and P. Q, R and P. P. Here your answer is fourth. Now this is uh, next question. Raju along with his family goes for morning walk. Now here two subjects are connected with this along with. Now here the real subject is Raju and that is singular. So this verb is okay here. This is correct here. But something is missing here. Morning walk. Now walk here is a noun. And this noun is being uh, modified by this adjective morning. So you have to say it a morning walk because this walk is countable. Okay. So here your correct answer is B. Now this is question number third. Uh, the, the director ideas for the development of the company are all moonshine. Now when you say this is all moonshine, you're talking about you're talking about impractical things. You're talking about nonsense things uh, that have uh, nothing to do with reality. So here your answer is nonsense. All moonshine means impractical things or nonsense things. Now this is question number five. Lay bare. When when you when you lay bare something, you expose it. When you lay bare something, you expose it. It is it is not any more hidden. It is exposed. Okay. Now this is question number six. Select the synonym of writhe. Now writhe means to twist your body. And the equivalent word is squirm. So here your correct answer is squirm. I have given the explanation of other words also. You can read all these words here. Okay. Now flog, what is the antonym of flog? Flog means to punish someone and compliment means to praise someone. So second is your correct answer. I have given the explanation here. You can read uh, this complete explanation also. Rescue of a rescue of a racket ship or cargo. To rescue means to protect something. Okay. So here your correct answer will be salvage. Now here I have given the meaning of these words also. You can uh, read these words also. Now this is a question of active and passive voice. The ringing of the alarm clock startled me. The ringing of the alarm clock, this is subject. Start late is the verb and me is the object. And this is, this is the remaining part. This is the extra part. So if you want to change this particular sentence into passive voice, the sentence has to start with this me. And when you take this me here on the, on the left hand side, it changes into I. Okay. And there is only one sentence that, that is starting with I here. So here your correct answer is first one. I was startled from the deep depth of my depth of slumber by the ringing of the alarm clock. Okay. Now again, there is a PQRS question and uh, to begin with, when you say to begin with, you start something, you, you start a particular article. 
you start uh, you start the article with a subject okay so here the sentence cannot start here because this is the helping verb and this is the connector the sentence can only start here the to begin with the problem with indian cities is not now this is the second fragment this has to be the second fragment so your answer will be qpr qpr this is the answer okay now this is the pqrs pattern particularly for pre exam in the tier 2 exam and that is mains exam pqrs questions are a little advanced than this now again this is pqrs question okay now we cannot start any paragraph with pronoun we have to start up uh, we have to start any article or any paragraph with noun so this is pronoun this is pronoun and uh, this is also a pronoun this is noun so sentence will start from here anthony was acting oddly even for a robber he entered a bank in pennsylvania after he entered the bank what will happen definitely he drew his toy gun demanded money then asked for the tailor to call the police so here this is the sequence r then q and then s r q s r q s p will be your correct answer p will be your last sentence because it reads it worked he was sentenced to 3 year in prison now this is the next question in view of the heavy losses suffered by the company the shareholder were requested to bear to bear with means to tolerate to bear with means to tolerate so here your correct answer will be with that is b now let us see the next question select the synonym of flagrant when you when you are flagrant you are doing thing openly you are blatant in doing anything okay and the equivalent of blatant or flagrant is glaring glaring will be your correct answer here now let us see the next question the government acted judiciously to stop the crisis to stop the crisis means to stop to prevent the crisis government wanted to prevent the crisis and uh, equivalent of prevent is stop off stop off or to fend off okay now select the word uh, select the word uh, with the correct spelling now what is the correct spelling of parachute now out of all these spellings i think this is the correct spelling p a r a c h u t e now this is the correct spelling a place where jews worship according to their religion cathedral is a kind of church a large church chapel is a worship house for christians demagogue is a leader uh, who can convince people on the basis of emotions not on the basis of logical reasoning so synagogue synagogue is the right answer here now fatuous what is the antonym of fatuous fatuous means inane or senseless but here since the question is asking about the antonym so the antonym of fatuous is sensible okay now this is the next question have you seen my spectacle sam asked his mother you have to change it in direct narration now since the question is being asked so here you will say the mother asked sam if he had this have will be changed into had so had is given only in this this sentence okay so here your answer is second now let us see the next question chauffeur chauffeur is a driver of a private car now what is the correct spelling of chauffeur c h a u l f e u r this is the correct spelling and this is the correct answer now select the antonym of tenacious who is tenacious if you are tenacious you are very very firm and resolute and the opposite of resolute is irresolute so these are the 20 questions these are the most expected highly expected questions for ssc cgl exam cpu exam chsl exam and uh, i am uploading these uh, the series of mock test in both hindi and english language and i am uh, putting all these mock test in a particular playlist so i will be uh, uh, putting uh, 
the link of uh, these playlist in the description box below from there you can you can watch the complete series of uh, this playlist and if you want to join my paid classes uh, you have to visit www.examine.in here you can join my paid classes so that's it in this video class and i'll see you in my next video class thank you